Q&A number three, does the Bible support infant baptism? The answer is no. The Bible does not support the Roman Catholic heresy of infant baptism. What is the requirement to get baptized? Go to Acts chapter 8, verse 36 to 38. It says, And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is the water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went both down or down both into the water and Philip both Philip and the eunuch and he baptized him okay what was happening there well Philip or the eunuch was saying what's hindering me what's hindering me what stopped me from being baptized and Philip says you have to believe in Jesus Christ he didn't believe in Jesus Christ now is an infant capable of believing in Jesus Christ do they have that that mental uh, capability of believing in Jesus Christ no they don't but we clearly see here that Philip or not, not Philip the eunuch he was wanting to get baptized, but there was something stopping him. He wasn't believing in Jesus Christ. He had to believe on Jesus Christ before he could get baptized. So infant baptism is not valid baptism. Sorry, it's raining outside. Infant baptism is not valid baptism because infants are not capable of believing before they can get baptized. So no, the Bible does not support the Roman Catholic heresy of infant baptism. Okay? So thank you for watching. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.